ridiculous amount of buildings which are buried. And this is the question, right? This is the, the question in my mind concerning Mudford. Which came first, the building or the mud? Because to my mind, guys, and I, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say I got whistleblowers, but I got people who are, are PhDs, architects, contacting me and saying it's blowing their minds why anyone would build a door and a window below ground level. This is street level. This is local to me, by the way. Um, so the question is, do you dig tons and tons and tons of earth away from a building? put a lower level, below street level, so no natural light can come in, so the road's above you, so it floods in winter, so it's dangerous to get to steps to go up to a front door in a country that has ice. And um, does this make any sense, all these lower windows? So this is our argument, okay, is why would an architect, and they contact me, guys, a lot of them contact me, and they say it makes no sense. Now, this building itself, is in Cardiff, my city where I live. There's no architectural plans for it. I try to tra trace it down. There's no uh, photographs of it being built. And yet you can see it looks like, you know, this is the question. Which came first, the mud or the building? Why in any architectural mind would you cut off natural light and put a window looking at a, a wall? A wall, guys, a wall. And you've got this replicated all across the world. This is in Russia. This is what in my mind is recently after a mud flood. This is in the city of Tomsk. And you can see they've got duck boards over the mud and the mud is clearly up here, this high above the buildings. And you're going to see this replicated on all Russian cities at a certain point in time. Um, the mud flood in some places is just beyond a joke. You can see it's just all piled up next to this. So this sort of arrangement where, you know, your hypothesis is that it's a mud flood that came at some point after the building was built isn't just in theory because you just basically showed it right there. I mean, it does happen that way sometimes. It appears. Sure, sure. Yeah. Sure, they have everywhere. Um, yeah, people, places like, look, look at Florence, for example, right, John, it's, it's prone to flood in the place fills up with mud and it leaves us a load of silt. They come in, they sweep it down. But it still remains the question is why would they build in that city, for example, um, these terrible lower windows, which are just going to get filled with this sludgy when they know it's replicated. It doesn't go with the mentality of building. Like this is in Moscow. This is um, the, what, what was apparently uh, the college or the Philharmonic College. And, and as you can see, some people say... Level. Some people, just so we can get out of the way, is, and I've heard it too. Oh well, the building, the building doesn't have a doesn't have a proper uh, footing, and so it's sinking. But if that were the case, there would be cracks. And oftentimes, the way this construction is done, it it's built so well that you don't even have cracks. You have sharp angles on windows, and you have very heavy structures that have been there for a long time. Sure. And you don't find the cracks. They didn't. They didn't do it as daft as we as we do things today, right, Mark? I mean, it's just it's a, it's a different level. It's next level construction, um, and and they tear them down. And it does it. It's obviously to me something's being hidden because um, your impression is when you find things like this that it would be totally. Uh, immediately cordoned off historical find and everything but they they don't treat them that way right and it in addition yeah, in addition to that um you know there are places all over the united states uh, and all over the world for that matter um where there are literally cities underneath cities um sure yeah, yeah. I, you know i was you, blown you away to denver uh, i've yes. made video about it yes yeah, incredible yeah, denver 